Hello everybody and welcome back to Middle Earth and another video update for Wayne Riders. Today we are looking at the iconic Southron faction, the Tribes of the Harad. Now if you have played 4th Age Total War, you know Harad as an empire, a very advanced civilization uh, living, of course, in the southern part of Middle Earth in a pretty secure position. Of course, in the Wayne Riders period, which is set many centuries prior to the 4th Age, at the uh, uh, right around the year 1860 or so, the map in the southern part of Middle-earth is quite a little bit different. We have some a uh, couple of different factions vying for control over the coasts of Harad. That would be the Lordship of Umbar and the Kingdom of Gondor. In the east, uh, so to speak, we have not only the Chieftain of Khand, but the emerging powers of the Wayne Riders. And sort of in the middle, in the southern part of the deserts inland, you can find the Tribes of the Harad, a perhaps less... Um, less secure faction in this period, but one that is still quite powerful, I think, in the right hands and with a, with a good deal of variety. So let's get the battle going. We'll take a look at the units. First up here, we're looking at some some of your basic cavalry, Herodwaith Riders. These are, as you can tell, very low armored, but, uh, but fast, light troops that will be useful uh, in the charge and in great numbers. They do come in quite large uh, unit sizes. You do have some other cavalry options though, uh, boasting, uh, uh, again, some of that versatility for this faction. Red Sand Cavalry here uh, is a horse archer unit, but they do have spears as a melee weapon, making them quite versatile indeed in the right conditions. They can skirmish away from uh, threatening melee troops, and when the time is right, charge the enemy in the back. So here they're going to be doing some harassing, and they do have a bit more armor than the Herodwaith Riders do. Another unit of cavalry that is uh, probably the, the better armed of your regular cavalry troops is the Horsemen of the Harad. These are javelin uh, skirmish cav units, but they have, again, decent armor, and they have swords for use in melee. So again, more of that versatility for the faction. I've got two wings that are basically identical here, and we are facing off against the, uh, the Lordship of Umbar in fairly even numbers. We do have some skirmish troops out in the front uh, doing a bit of uh, just screening, I guess you could say. Desert skirmishers are your basic foot skirmish troops. They are very lightly armored, but at least they do have a shield. In melee, they're only going to have small curved knives, and so they're, they're going to suffer here. They're going to get run down by the enemy cavalry, but we do have our infantry coming in to uh, save the day here. Herodwaith tribesmen are basically the dismounted uh, version of that low-tier cavalry. They are your lowest tier of infantry, more aggressive than, um, than spear troops, but of course very poorly armored. Uh, at your second tier, you can find Southron spears. These are going to be a more solid unit, uh, a bit more staying power, more defensively oriented of course, and able to stand up against even these Scarlet Shields with the assistance of a more elite spear troop, your Spears of the Serpent. So these guys are really going to be the high morale uh, backbone of your army, if you will. Further back, we've got some uh, more infantry ranged troops. Red Sand Archers are going to be your cheap and effective uh, archers, of course. Uh, again, good numbers, and that's going to help quite a bit in terms of their effectiveness in those archer duels. And an elite archer unit don't mind that, that's just my general dying. Um, this is your uh, Temple Guard, so this is a uh, kind of a hybrid unit. They have bows in addition to these very fine looking two-handed battle axes, uh, which are going to uh, make them a good unit for flanking, for charging around into the back of an enemy formation once they've used their arrows. They don't want to stand around and get shot or charged like I'm allowing here but uh, used more, more actively, they can be very effective, an interesting unit to use. Another skirmisher type that may be available to you in some regions is the Southron skirmishers. Uh, these, I believe, are going to have a fear effect. We still, as, as a uh, sort of a reminder, we still do need to do balancing and sort of checking of unit stats and abilities, but these guys are a, a quite effective unit, and you may be familiar with them from 4th Age Total War. Uh, they are uh, very good against Mumikil, for example, which you may run across since Umbar can train those guys. Your bodyguard unit is uh, this right here, the Desert Guard. They have spears as well as swords. Uh, I had charged them directly into an elite polearm unit. I think it was Umbar's Palace Guard. And so my general died uh, very quickly, just a bit of bad luck there for him. But the unit carried on very nicely here. And so you can see them actually, um, they had actually run off the enemy uh, spearmen who killed the general and are getting stuck in against these spearmen of the Harad. Another unit that is routing off the field currently 
uh, or maybe they already did, is the, where is it, the Champions of the Harad. They may, oh, no, nope, they've come back. Here they are, Champions of the Harad. So these are a fear-causing unit. Uh, they did route earlier in the fight because they were under a lot of pressure, not only uh, ballista fire, but ranged, uh, and they were having a hard time against those black Numenorians of Umbar. And so they did route, but they did come back. These are going to be a, sort of a shock troop, as you can tell. Very low armor, but they're going to be fast, good stamina, and fear-causing. So used well, uh, they, can, uh, they can cause routes like this. Uh, another unit not shown in this particular battle is Mumikil. You will, of course, be able to train those giant elephants as the tribes of Harad, and they can, of course, be a, uh, a major part of your force. It's going to be an interesting campaign in the sense that you're not going to be nearly as secure as the Empire of Harad uh, as it appears in the Fourth Age Total War, and so you're really going to have to carve out some space for yourself. You're going to start really in, in some inland provinces with, uh, with not a lot of neighboring um, major factions. There will be some rebels nearby, so you'll have to do a bit of conquering, and then you'll be able to come up against factions like Gondor, or Umbar, or Khand, or even the Wayne Riders, and, uh, and sort of see how things go from there. But between your light and versatile cavalry, your light infantry with good solid spearmen at the upper tiers, and some interesting uh, fear-causing troops, and uh, your, 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 uh, your ranged units, I think Harad will offer quite a bit of opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed this preview. We are, of course, continuing work on the mod. For more such updates, continue to follow the channel and check us out at TotalWarCenter.net where you can uh, see the threads not only on the 4th Age Total War but also specific to Wayne Riders. And thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.